What's going on everybody? My name is Zeus the Moose if you didn't already know and today I'm bringing you the Gears of War 4 beta somewhat of a tutorial. Basically we're going to be talking about how to bounce and if you can really bounce in Gears of War 4. As you can tell from my screen right now, there is minimal bouncing. I mean, it's pretty awesome. I am happy with the movement. I truly enjoy it a lot. As you can tell, my player is JD, and he's got pretty good, consistent movement. It's fluid. It's quick. You can do a lot of strafing. Like, you pivot, pivot into bounce. In my opinion, I would say the bouncing is a mix of the Gears of War Ultimate Edition mechanics and the Gears of War 3 bounce. Of course though we do have to understand that this is a Gears of War beta so there's a possibility that we can see change in the final product of the game. I doubt they will change the wall bounce um, that much from what it already is because wall bouncing has always been a unique interesting utensil in the Gears of War universe and I think it's a real awesome way to bring in people, entertainment and all that good stuff. Okay, we now we have Kate bouncing around in the original spot that I originally started off in. I want to show this off because I do believe that some of the characters might have a little bit of a different bounce. It's not that different, but it, it feels a little bit different each one. But um, basically, guys, another thing that I want to talk about is the explanatory of uh, whether or not what forms a bouncing is. So if you already know, if you're a veteran wall bouncer, if you're an amateur, you can learn today. But basically, there's side-to-side -side bouncing. There's angle bouncing, there's angler bouncing, there's camera bouncing, there's pullback, there's hyper bouncing, and there's twitch bouncing. All these bouncing methods can be used together to create an even better bounce method if you know how to do it, at least in Gears of War 3. But here's the thing guys, in Gears of War 4, the only bounces that truly exist is pullback and camera bouncing. You can do a little bit of side to side and a little bit of your angles left to right. But sadly, guys, we won't be seeing any more twitch bouncing. We won't be seeing any more hyper bouncing or straight angular bouncing. I know a lot of you are alternate angle players, so I'm sorry for that. But the new bouncing method is mainly going to be camera bouncing mixed with a little bit of pullback. Okay, so the next thing we're going to talk about is utilizing the bounce and whether or not it actually works really well in a gunfight. I, as a wall bouncer, think it's a really good mechanism to be able to get out of situations, to be able to juke your opponent, to take one-on-twos, one-on-threes, and to distract them into thinking you're doing something else. It gives you a couple seconds to, you know, devise a plan, get out of a situation, anything like that. But um, what we're going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and post up some clips with the wall bounce, me killing some people so you can guys, you guys can see what it's like to actually using the wall bounce in a play. Right here, I'm pushing this guy, I hit a little strafe, body him. I went for the second guy and he got me, but you see that wall bounce allowed me to get close enough to body him with a bounce. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just show you guys a couple kills with the bounce so you guys can see that it's not just something to be done to look cool or to, you know, spam the A button. In my opinion, it's something done to be outplaying your opponents, getting around them without them seeing. You guys just saw that double kill with strict movement. It was pretty sick, just bouncing around. Alright guys, if you also didn't know, there is a cooldown mechanism in Gears of War 4. It was implemented by the creators so people couldn't spam bounce anymore. And basically how it works is, it's a thing that limits your um, bounce per second. And basically, there's no more spamming A. So you can't get lucky by pressing A over and over again and hitting walls by luck with no... Uh, with no timing actually so Gears of War 4 is extremely based around the timing of the bounce now you can't rapidly tap A over and over you only could hit A a certain amount per, per bounce so if anyone's wondering how that works if you've already heard of it it doesn't make the bounce necessarily slower I mean yes you can't twitch bounce but here's the thing what it really does is it just makes sure that you can't tap A three times in one bounce so you can still bounce rather quickly, but you can't twitch bounce and you can't spam bounce anymore. Also guys, as you can tell right there, I just hit a reaction shot. Nash are pretty clean with a wall bounce, so I'm happy to say the reaction shots are return returning with the bounce and the movement. So that's pretty awesome. But alright guys, we're going to get to the moment you've all been waiting for, how to actually bounce. So for you amateurs that don't actually understand the methods that I said earlier in the video, we're going to talk about pull bounce here pullbacking so if you want to be able to pull back what you need to learn how to do is get next to a wall and press a by the wall but you want to learn to see how you can wall cancel on the wall slide into cover but pulling your character off 
I'll go ahead and show you in a second. Alright guys, so we're basically going to go ahead and explain how the wall bounce works. As you can tell, I'm making my way through the middle of the map. And the best way to explain the bounce is this. So if you go ahead and look at a wall, you can pull back. You pull back, pull back, pull back. Once you learn your pullback, you get used to the muscle memory of your character pulling back off the wall. You can actually learn how to do it left to right. So here's the goal. When you pull back, you need to be able to pull back and look right before your character actually hits the wall. So you hit, pull back, look right. Hit, pull back, look left. Hit, pull back, look. Ooh, ooh, and I'll play mid thing. Oh! Oh! The mid! Ah! <laughs> Alright guys, so that's how it, that's the start though. So basically, like I said, you gotta pull back left, pull back right, pull back left, right. And you learn, and once you get muscle memory, get it in your fingers, your head, you'll learn how to be quicker, faster, <clears throat> Alright guys, so I'll just go ahead and run that back for you guys one more time. I'm just bouncing around the map, you know, making your way. You can bounce around the whole map entirely if you know how. It's pretty great. But here we go. This is what we're going to explain. You can do left to right. Like I said, guys, you can't side to side bounce, but this is basically side to side bouncing if you know how to do it. But now we're going to go to this area. So if I'm hitting walls, I need to understand that I need to be able to pull back before I actually make contact with the wall and I get stuck. If you learn how to do this in muscle memory and fingers, you know, you can start to pull back, pull back, and hit walls. This is the easiest way to bounce and the quickest way, in my opinion. You can't necessarily do the side-to-side -side bounce anymore, which is like this. I'll show you guys down here. Left right you know like that you can't do it as quick it's not like ultimate edition so the best way to do it is a camera bounce if you know what that is camera bounce mixed with a pullback mixed with a little bit of an angle bounce but sadly you could not angle bounce all right, guys, so now that you know the main method of wall bouncing in Gears of War 4, at least the beta, it's a possibility that these things might change in the final product. I hope not, and I doubt it, but if not, we already know what it's looking like, and I'm really enjoying it. Also, guys, if you check out right there, I just hit a disgusting reaction shot on this guy. I enjoy the movement. I love the way it is. I also hit this guy. I'll play in a couple people. Still moving. So, basically, what I'm just showing you guys is this is what you can do if you utilize the bounce right. You can really get an upper hand on your opponents and get to them before they even see you. It's pretty awesome. Alright guys, that's basically going to be it for this video. Basically a little bit of a wall bounce Gears of War 4 tutorial and my opinions and thoughts on the game. I'm going to go ahead and leave it out with some clips for you guys. Put a couple quads, maybe some outplays so you can see in action guys. Also, I'm a YouTuber slash montager as you can tell. But I have two montage wall bounce outplay videos already up for Gears of War 4. So if you want to go ahead and check that out, show some love, I'd really appreciate it. Also guys, if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more, don't forget to drop a thumbs up. Peace out, Gears Nation. Let's just get some downs. Oh, go, Zeus. I got that guy hurt.